Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 011, Arithmetic, Section 3.5, Problem 10. This is Section 3.5, Problem 10. What we have is 0 0.18 divides into 630. How many times? Well, the decimal for the number in front, or divisor, is the problem. We have to rewrite this so that I don't have a decimal in front. So the rule is move the decimal for the number in front of the division symbol or divisor as many places as you have to until it winds up at the far right. So in other words, after the 8. Now, as many places as you had to move it for the number in front, you must move it the same number of places for the number under the division symbol or dividend. The, the proper name for it doesn't matter that much. What matters is I moved it two places for the number in front. I must move it the same number in this problem two places for the number under. So uh, that rewrites the problem basically as 18 divided into 6, 3, 0, and then two more zeros. And whatever the answer is for that division problem, 18 divided into 63,000 is the same answer for 0.18 divided into 630. So. Do the division. So 18 divides into 6. It does not divide into 6. 6 is not big enough. 18 divides into 63. It will fit into 63. It should be 3 times. So 3 times 8 is 54. Uh, sorry, 24. Think another final answer. Write the 4. Carry the 2. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 plus 2 more, 54. Now, 63 minus 54 is 9. So now bring down the next digit to the right, which is a 0. Put it next to the 9 that you got. It becomes a 90. Now, 18 divides into 90. I think it goes in exactly 5 times. So let's try 5. That should work. So 5 times 8 is 40. Write the 0 from the 40. Carry the 4. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 plus the 4 more that I carried over, five, to, 5 plus 4 is 9. So it does match very nicely. 90 minus 90 is 0. Now, we're not done yet because we had to put in those other zeros. The answer is not 35. If I bring down the next digit to the right, which is a 0, something times 18 will fit into 0. Well, 0. 0 times 18 is 0. I do 0 minus 0. I get 0. And there's still another 0 to bring down. So bring the last digit down next to the answer I just got, and I get 0 again. Something times 18 gets you to 0, while it's times 0. 0 times 18 is 0. Goes in evenly. So the answer is 3,500. That's how many times 18 divides into 63,000. So therefore, it also divides in 3,500 times, 0.18 dividing into 630. 3,500.